Is that right? Then I guess you have no need for any of my bikes. Oh. Okay. Did you come from far away? Yeah. <laughs> All the way from Little Root. My goodness, that's ridiculously far. You had one of my bikes. I bet you could go anywhere easily while filling the gentle crest. Hey, what? I'll give you a what bike. Oh, wait, I forgot to tell you. Hey, man, there's two kind of bikes. I'll, we'll take the mock bike for now. It's a little faster. I'm a real sweetheart, so you can have whichever you like. And you can switch anytime, so don't worry too much. But, uh, yeah. If you get there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks, buddy. Oh, were you thinking about switching bikes? No, Rydell. Thank you. Uh, I'm learning about bikes while I work here. If you need advice, there's computer books in the back. Yeah, so these will just tell you, like, you know, how to do the bunny hop, so. Yeah, bunny hops. Yeah, for example. Yep, you can hop on the spot. Yep, you can ride while hopping too, so, yeah. Anyway, a lot of different stuff you can do with bikes. Um, and I got the, uh, coin case, so how much money do I have? Not much. Well, enough to show you guys how the casino works. So let's go here. Yeah, and this is the game corner. Coins are named to play. I think you can get a free doll here. I mean, I'm saying that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we get a torching doll. There you go. Uh, there's a prize I want, but I can't win that jackpot. Okay. Roulette thing. Yeah, so there's several games you can play here. Here, take some coins. Okay, Molly lost some for everyone from the game corner. Uh huh. Yeah, so we're not going to talk to all of these people right now, but, you know, we have enough money to show that off later. Now, right now, what I want to do is actually move it in the bag, the bike, so it'll be up front. So, here, select. There you go. Okay. And we just want to, um, I'll keep in mind that this is a randomizer, so there are different routes here. North, 111. East, oops, East, which is 118, and West, which is 117. And yeah, it is a randomizer, so each route has a new Pokemon we can find. So believe it or not, this is going to be just kind of a catch em screen. Ash, catch em, catch em all. Um, but first things first, let's throw someone in the daycare here. Now, I don't want to put any of my real team members in, but uh, let's just put in a couple that I could consider, you know, if I would just really, really, you know what I mean, got to, to the bottom of the barrel. I think our teams are going to be fine. Uh, let's choose, um, now, like, Machia is pretty beastly, and Flame Body is pretty cool. Um... I'm honestly going to throw my champ in. Um, the only reason I think I had I didn't raise this before is because, um, yeah, I've been using it in a previous playthrough. Uh, uh, the other up for consideration. Let's go to good types over here. Uh, granted. Um, yes, feel, honestly, wall rain is pretty beastly. Let's just look at some of these types. Grass steel. Yeah, fire is kind of a problem. Uh, a lot of weaknesses here, too. Um... Let me think here. Fire and Dragon is a pretty good type combination, so maybe Masquerain. Um, I don't know. Um, Gyarados only being normal type is also potentially good, uh, but I might move, miss out on some moves if it's in the daycare. Um, this uh, Torkoal's ability, that's funny. Nukem, uh, aka Numel, has a Torkoal's unique ability. That's funny. And Normal only does have one weakness at uh, fighting. Yeah, you tell you what, we're gonna throw Nukem in there. I don't know why I wasn't raising this before, but that's actually a very good Pokemon. Nom noms. Steel flying, wow. Um, this is honestly pretty good too. Okay, so let's throw in Gulpin and yeah, Numel. And, uh, let's take a look at the granite ones. Right round. Only pure dark. Okay, that's, you know, you can work with that. Flying electric. Pretty interesting that this has Emolga's typing of all things. Um, fly fighting? Yeah. Bayleaf is good. Dark type? Yeah. Um, and I'm surprised Bayleaf isn't over here, the team, but Bayleaf definitely should be on the team. Um, 
Okay, and Sveal, what type are you? Rock Bug? So it's got Armaldo's typing. Huh. Yeah, that's honestly not bad either. Okay. We are going to be fighting a lot of wild Pokemon as well. So, now what about Sveal? Just Bug? Ursaring's pretty beastly as well, yeah. Hmm. Huh. What about Dodrio? Triple. Oh, it's just flying. Huh. I guess this would get stab moves. But, uh... Yeah, I think so. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'll just go with these two for now. I could consider some other Pokemon, but... Yeah. Let's just make it nice and short and sweet. Uh, yeah. Can you take my... Nuku? Okay. We can raise two Pokemon. Can you please take Nom Noms? There you go. Alright. So, those will be getting levels in the meantime. Uh, let's choose someone to take the experience share. Um... Let's choose... Hmm. Believe it or not, I am going to choose Gyarados here. Or in... Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. Um, so I'll choose that for the experience share. And then, uh, do I need to use Cut? Probably not. Actually, I do. There's one spot over here I do. Okay, so, order of operations. We're not going to go to the gym first. Because that doesn't make too much sense. There's a lot of trainers all around, too. So, we're basically just going to kind of wing it. We'll go a little bit in each direction. And then we're just going to kind of mix it up. And we'll kind of look for Pokemon and battle trainers all at the same time. So, that's the plan for this stream. Not really... I don't think I'll challenge in the gym. Just kind of play for a couple hours and see what happens. So, oh, this is Wally. Uh, yeah, okay. That's great, Wally. Uh, see you, buddy. Alright, so we go over here. And it's time to duel. Let's go. Alright, Sailor Dudley. Wow. <laughs> Didn't Team Rocket have this Pokemon in uh, Johto Journeys? I'm pretty, I'm like a thousand percent sure they did. Aw, come on, yo. That's gonna be super effective too. Man. Uh, hmm. Let's try to focus energy. Heck. Okay. Strong too, yeah. Oh, okay, so we register this guy. There you go. Uh, yeah. Whatever you say, man. Next guy. Listen, can I get you to battle the Pokemon raising? Uh, sure, why not, bro? Dr. Robin has a Pokemon. It's until oh no, well. Alright, let's go with Focus Energy. Yeah, and this is a Pokemon Breeder. So keep in mind that Pokemon uh, Breeders in this game, th does this guy have six Pokemon? Well, I don't know how many Pokemon he has, but like, long story short, uh, people with a lot of Pokemon, they're designed to have like lower levels. So that's partly why this guy's all the way at level 11. Um, yeah, because he's supposed to, he has like four or five Pokemon, so. Right. Huh, this guy must be steel type. Yeah, because both normal and dark and effective, so. Well, unless he's dual type, that's possible too. Oh, 
one HP, come on, you know. This dude might kill me, I don't know. Wow. Mm. Alright. Yeah, but. Like on 25. An uh, ember, nice. There we go. That's kind of what I was waiting on to switch them out. Uh, I'll get rid of Leer for Ember. Alright. Add a, add a girl slate on. Uh, Larvitar. I don't know what type this thing is. Let's just throw a barrel lily. Try Ember. Yeah, six Pokemon, yeah, so. Yep. Might take a while depending on what type they are. And okay. Guess I'll use quick attack. Thanks. Looper. Um stay in. Okay. I'm actually gonna heal Slay Gun here. Put it back in after I soda pump it. There we go. Yeah, I knew Whopper, Whopper Jr. here didn't have anything too scary, so. Uh, Alright. That did a lot of damage for it being not very effective. But I guess this thing is 13 levels under us, so. So cool, quick. Adios. But anyway, yeah, how are you guys doing today? Uh, today is uh, September the 12th, 2022. Uh, man, let me check my, hang on, I actually can check my battery right now.
Alrighty, hey there guys, last time on Final Fantasy, <laughs> yeah, hey. Oh man, what did we do last time? Let me get nice and comfy here. Actually, scoop the table closer to me. That way I stay in the light here. Anyway, what did we do last time? Uh, yeah, we uh, got the Angelo card. I guess we also did the first, like, seed mission. That, uh... Yeah, with the, uh, yeah, with the chain switching, switcherooski. Uh, one thing you may want to do before this battle, um, yeah, transfer any spare, um, spells you have of Asuna to, um, a character who is not in your party right now. So, for example, uh, wait, wait. oh, <laughs> hey, sir, thanks a lot. Thoughts on the Damian Lillard trade? Wow. Man, I could make an entire uh, five-hour video about that. Um, so anyway, as I'm sure you guys know, uh, it's been, you know, dime time, or uh, dame time. <laughs> Welcome to the chat uh, here in uh, Portland for umpteen years. Honestly, man, hey, hey, man, I don't blame you, man. You've been doing the same thing at the same place for the same 14, 15, however many years he's been with Portland, you know, yeah, I mean, I got no problem with you, bro. Hey, you want to get up out of there and, you know, go? Go, bro. I mean, and honestly, he did everything for Portland he could, man. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, hey, man, he, he been he been there for, like, he been there, like, ever since, ever since my grandma was alive, dog. <laughs> like he's been there for a, a minute, like a long minute. And hey, he gave it all he could. Every night he plays with passion. Every night he plays with, like, hey man, if, if you're not happy where you at, you know what I'm saying? And this applies to life too. Sir, thanks a lot. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't happy where you at, like, here's what I would hate, right? Or here's what I would, I wouldn't want him to like regret, you know what I mean? This opportunity. This is an opportunity for uh, Dime Time, for, for D, for uh, Damian Lillard. Like, I would hate for him to just be like, nah, you know, I'm going to stick by what I said and I'm going to stay here in Portland, even though I don't want to, you know, when you have a dab a do, and, you know, I'm not going to, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, man, live life with no regrets, bro. And, like, if you think you got a better shot to move on, hey, move on, man. If you want to stay in, you know, Stay till you retire, like Dirk Nowitzki or something. Hey man, I got no problem with you either way, bro. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, dime time, man. Hey, dime time, man. I mean, Damian Lillard, he's got a bunch of nicknames, but he be dropping dimes. You know what I'm saying? Every time he on the court, he be dropping threes. He be in the zone. Yes, it's dime time, son. <laughs> no, but anyway, uh, what do you think of the trade, sir? Uh, thanks a lot. Like, do you? Are you angry at D. Lillard, or, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, what do, what do you think? I, I really could make an entire, like, you know, 10-hour rant, you know, about why, what's good and what's bad about it, but, um, anyway, let's continue to transfer some spells here, make sure no one has Asuna, um, believe he'll come back? Yeah, 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 exactly, that's what I think, sir is like, I think he'll, you know, try out this new situation. Maybe see if he gets to the playoffs or finals. I mean, obviously if he wins a championship where he's at right now, the chance of him coming back is slightly reduced. So there's that caveat. Um, but you know what I mean? Yeah, like I can see him like playing and playing and playing. And you know how like LeBron's playing, even though he's uh, 39? I can see D, uh, D Little being like, I. I done won my two or three championships. Um, let me go to Portland for one last year. For, on the bench, I could see Damian Lillard literally, literally saying, hey, let me go back to Portland. Let me be on the bench. And let me just get like, ah, let me play like 15 minutes a game. That way I can retire in my, my real jersey. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then, yeah, yeah, and LeBron came back. So, hey, that's real talk, dog. That's real talk. Like, honestly. I can see him doing that. You know, hey, he wins. Let's just say he wins. Let's let's say he makes it to a Western Conference Finals. And then, you know, he just finishes out his career. And, yeah, I can see him doing that, man. You know, 
and then like everybody at Portland be like, all right, he retired the Blazer. Hey, that's what's up. You know, so anyway, let's transfer these as soon as to, um, oh, I can't. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's good to know. Uh, isn't Portland looking, man, you know, I mean, yeah, Portland got some pieces in the trade that are, uh, we'll see, you know what I mean? It's just, I, I like Scoot, but I mean, is he, the question is, is he good? He's proved that he can, you know, he can ball a little bit. The question is, is Scoot the right fit in Seattle, in, uh, you know, in Seattle, in Portland, in, in that organization, in, in that system? Because, you know, every coaching system is different. Same for Lillard. I could argue the same question. You know, is Lillard in the right system? Are they going to make the most of his abilities? And I don't know. You know, we'll see. Coaching is half of the game, man. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> if they're not making the most of his abilities like they were up in Portland, then... You know, you might want to look at who's calling the plays, you know, so, uh, yeah. So, I, I'm just saying, you know, uh, same for Scoop, same, I, I could say that for LeBron, you know. Are they really making the most of LeBron's abilities? No, no, they're not. I mean, they've won the championship that year. The year they won the championship, yes, you could tell they were making the most of LeBron's abilities. Like, right now? <laughs> like, right now, are they making the most of LeBron's abilities? In LA? No. No, they are not. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> that's just what I think. But, um, yeah, I think, I think Dime Time will be all right. Um, now, will the Blazers be all right long term as an organization? That's, uh, you know, I don't know about that. Like, that's, that's the real question is will the Portland Trail Blazers? be okay long term as an organization uh, I, I hope so I don't know I mean honestly I could see him going kind of south which I hope doesn't happen I really you know I really hope that doesn't happen but think about it man they've had problems attracting fellow superstars for years so I, I, I don't know, I'm just saying, man, it could go downhill real quick in Portland. And they could easily replace the Bobcats as the worst franchise in the next, like, 10. I mean, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I, I, I don't think that's going to happen. But uh, anyway, <laughs> time for the first mission. Ready? Uh, I think so. If not, you know what? No, 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 not yet. If not, I can transfer some magic. Let, let's make a quick uh, warp point. Uh, which I kind of just did, right? I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention to the game. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah. So uh, we're about to fight um, the... Uh, <laughs> we're about to have the encounter with the uh, quote-unquote Vincer Delling. <laughs> but uh, anyway, let's just read some dialogue here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go. All right. And because uh, last time we uh, did the car switch room. President Delling. All right. So here's Renoa here. As long as you don't resist... You won't get hurt. Hey, yeah, I know, right? Right, sir? And what if I do resist? What would you do? Oh, wait, let's, let's give this guy the uh, President Bush voice. And, and young lady, what would I do if you do resist? Hurricane Katrina was a disaster. What would you do, young lady? <laughs> uh, uh? Oh, what? what's wrong? Boom hoo. It looks like you've been duped. <laughs> this was easier than getting a cow pie stuck out of the mud. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> I'm not the president. I'm what they call <laughs> a body double. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Big President Dillon, all these rumors about the many resistance groups in Timber. <laughs> you pass along a little false information and they fall for it. <laughs> How pathetic. Seems like there are only amateurs around here. Amateurs? Yeah, that's what he's saying, Renoa. Take it or leave it. Ah, uh, my, my butt sits from all this. They're sitting, young lady. Arr. So what did you have in 
Snow for me had I resisted. Why don't you tell me? Whoa, this guy seems a little uh, possessed. <laughs> but hey, man, I play Yu Gi Oh! Wouldn't be the first possession in an anime, right? Okay. Quite amusing. Oh, <coughs> but being so amateur. <laughs> How <coughs> dare you insult the president? All right, and here we go for boss time, guys, with the fake president. So, <laughs> the thoughts on the state of modern Yu-Gi-Oh! It's actually pretty good. <laughs> no, no, I mean, uh, Master Duel Yu-Gi-Oh! Not TCG. I don't follow the TCG since I uh, retired. But, uh, wait. <gasps> Did we forget to junction? Ooh. Okay, so we are going to uh, save some of this battle. But, uh... I at least want to get to the next phase of this battle um, because I do need to see what magics we need to draw. Can Squall draw? Squall can draw. So, yeah, note to self, junction, and also see what magics I can draw here. <laughs> All right, and what can I do with the thriller? The world? And, uh, what the... Uh, okay. What is the suit man's true form? Yeah, it's a zombie, you know. What the fuck? Yeah, 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 Squall's just like having the same reaction as me. Like, what the hell? Uh, but yeah, let's see what we can draw from this guy. Because obviously I'm going to have to redo this battle. So yeah, this guy has two unknown magics. Asuna, double. What else does he have? So I know what to transfer here. Um, Berserks, right. And, um, what else does he have? <laughs> That's a huge leg, yeah. Dude, this dude, this thing is freaking... But, uh, by the way, this is an undead monster, so... If you put a phoenix down on it, uh, you should be fine. Also, if you cast healing magic, you should be fine. So, uh, physical attacks won't do too good. Yeah, zombies, honestly. So, I don't You normally use the Berserk magic. But, uh, zombies does sound good, so I'll tell you what we'll do here. We'll actually just, um, let's get out of this battle right now, actually. It's all good right here. And we'll just basically boot back in, so. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, because I definitely don't want to miss out on the AP, um, from, um, uh, this boss. <laughs> Whatever his name is, you know, so. Yep, we'll just skip the dialogue in this time. So, good thing I saved before, because I, I don't know why we became uh, Unjunction. I don't remember that. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of weird. But anyway, <laughs> kind of a weird thing. But, yeah, let's just reboot and uh, go from there. <laughs> uh, what about you, uh, sir? Like, um, what? Well, first of all, do you play Yu-Gi-Oh? That's, like, I guess an important question, sir. Uh, yeah, yes, yeah, sir. Do you play Yu-Gi-Oh? Um, if so, uh, what do you think of the state of the game? Too fast? Too slow? Perfect? You know. <laughs> yeah, because we all have our opinions, you know. Nothing wrong with that, so. All right. do 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 Alrighty. And here we go. We're back. All right, sweet. So, yeah, yeah, obviously I need a junction. Um, these guys. And I should have noticed the HP, but uh, anyway. So, Zell normally had Ifrit and, um, I think, um, I think that's all he had was just Ifrit. Maybe I had him with Shiva. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, we'll give him Vitality and Spirit, so let's give him Shiva. Okay. And we'll give him GF, draw, magic, and for his abilities, right, I do remember this. Let's, um, there's no experience in boss fights, so let's just give him the strength boost. Okay, and then let's let's look at selfie. Um, ah, right, Siren and <laughs> Diablos. Oh, that doesn't look right for her junctions. I'm pretty sure I had more unlock than that. So I must have these mixed up. Let's unjunction Siren. Let's uh, unjunction uh, Shiva. Interesting. So let's go to Selfie. And we can figure this out, Chad. We can figure this out, what we had last time. So let's go to Selfie. 
Because I know for sure I had Diablos on her. So there's uh, Diablos. And then... Oh, I see. Shiva gives her strength, vitality, and... Okay. So yeah, I must have had it like this. And that way Zell has... Uh, yeah, GM. Draw magic. Yeah, let's just jump in around. Uh... Yeah. All of these? Okay. And then, um, yeah, Zell must have had, yeah, that makes sense, you know, to give Zell, um, Siren, because that way he has a magic junction, and everybody has a magic junction. So thankfully, Squall's junction was unchanged. Um, same abilities. Oh, I guess move by this. Well, we don't need that right now. But, uh, anyway, let's junction up Selfie. So, um, yeah, for this boss fight. Um, give her... What did I have here? Probably Blazaga. Yeah, because she has that one. And then... Yeah, give her shell. Yep, that makes sense. Okay. Alright. <laughs> I'm a big believer in normal summon Alistair. Hmm, okay. <laughs> uh, that's... Yeah, I mean, hey, that's... That's a way to play, honestly. Uh, if you want to play that way, eh, nothing wrong with it, you know. So... <laughs> Alright. And we'll go from here. Um, oh, that's what I need to do. For some reason, that's weird. On Twitch Studio. Let me see if it here. That's actually really weird. Because it was showing like messages before to where I can see it. But right now, no. So that's odd. Uh, so let me try to do this. And let me basically just try to reset it. But we go into. Whoa. FF8. And then, maybe if I click back into the game, it should, like, show me messages. So, because the thing is, is, like, the game plays in full screen, so that should be the best way. Uh, anyway, for the strength junctions, we've got, um, I do remember Vitality, I had, a uh, regen on here. <laughs> so that's at 120. Uh, what did I have here? I don't remember. Uh, probably Kirago. That looks pretty good. And I'm not going to make the perfect junctions. I'm basically going to do it like where it's good enough. Probably Tornado over here. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then um, uh, we'll just throw on an Aga. Um, an Aga. Um, Quake is honestly pretty good magic, so that works. And what else do we have? Okay. Selfie is good. Uh, let's check out Zell. Again, not going to be the perfect magic. I really just want to get into the battle and start drawing, honestly. So, oh yeah, Flare, right, yeah. So, puts his strength to 108. Uh, tornado here. That makes sense. And then HP. Probably had like Regen or something up here. That's good enough, honestly. And, okay, so we go back. Um, I'll also need to heal these guys, by the way. Um, yeah. Okay. So there's that. And then we go here. For the element. I'm pretty sure I had Viraga on him. Um, but yeah, we'll just put life for the 30. And then for the other defense, I think I just had like a... I uh, might have had Shell or something. I don't remember. Um, I might have just like let him absorb... Uh, a random element like like that yeah so all right and for the elements attack um let's just leave it off because i don't know what this guy's resistances are and over here for sure i had like death yeah 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 death and um uh i'm pretty sure i had asuna right here but we we took off asuna i remember also this guy might actually absorb death damage because he's an undead monster so for now let's just leave that on junction yeah I'm not exactly sure how that would work, but, uh, yeah. Alright, and then from here, let's use some of Squall's magic to obviously heal up our buddy Zell. So, let's go with here, and... Yeah. There you go, Zell. Um, that's... Okay, there we go, that's fine. And Selfie's as good as she can get. Uh, one thing I will do, though, is exchange the Cures to... Uh, somebody, um... Yeah, exchange Squall's Cures, which is a healing spell, to, uh, I don't know, to Zell? Yeah, because this guy is weak to, uh, yeah, Curative Magic, so 
Yeah, that's actually a good call. All right, and then from here, we're just gonna draw Asuna and the last one. Uh, whatever that spell is. All right, now we're junction. Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> we're going back to the presidential debate. Sorry, you know, we just had to uh, rewind the VCR tape. All right, Renoa. Yeah, I'm ready this time. But we've already read the dialogue, so that's the good part. We can just, you know, game from here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All righty. Time to draw. Bishmila. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right. President Daly, as long as you, yeah, yeah, yeah. We know Renoa. <laughs> yeah, his speech patterns here, one thing I guess I can point out is like, yeah, it's pretty obvious he's uh, not only a body double because he confesses that he is, but like, it, just the way he speaks, like, <laughs> like all the, like, the caps, it goes from like normal to caps to, and the ellipses, you know, and like, look at the resisted, the R-I-S-I -I is lowercase and the S-T-E-D is all higher, yeah. It's pretty obvious. I'm like, oh, don't you tell me. Like, that's exactly why I read it that way. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, anyway. We're up against the fake president once again. <laughs> this time we're Junction. This time my uh, GFs are going to get the experience. <gasps> I forgot to check what they were learning. It's okay. It's okay, chat. You fell for it. Let's just go. Oh, what the heck? This guy's biting Selfie's neck. What a weirdo. Anyway, Zell should one-shot this guy. Yeah, look at that. There we go. And from here, we can just start um, drawing. Hopefully, I have to draw a camera side of the way. Um, if not, not we can. We may take a mistake. And this is... Yeah, a uh, being we don't know the name of. What the fuck? Yeah. Uh, anyway, let's start drawing as soon as with everybody. Uh, really good spell. Oh, Selfie Right already has them. I couldn't transfer, so... Yeah, I guess you can draw doubles here, too, if um, you don't have doubles. But, uh, yeah, I guess we'll take the zombies, yeah. Um, there we go. And as you see, whenever uh, this thing, this, this nasty thing or whatever, attacks, um, yeah, your characters start to have status problems. So, what's, you know what my solution for that is? We draw cast Asuna whenever one of our characters has a status problem. And see, now Zell is no longer slow. He's just like regular old Zell. So, yeah, that's why Asuna's good. I mean, <laughs> for fights just like this, honestly, where your character has a status problems. Yeah. Or where status problems are the main. Now, this is the big problem of this battle. Yeah, and he's actually going to berserk. Luckily, he berserked my weakest character, Selfie. So. I do need to heal her from Berserk with Asuna, but uh, yeah. So yeah, let's draw quickly with Zell and cast it on Selfie. So she's no longer Berserk, which is good. And luckily he didn't Berserk Zell. That's the problem in this duel. Is I actually have um, Zell really powerful. So if he just Berserks Zell a lot, we're going to be stopping, stopped from drawing Asuna's. So. And uh, zombies. So that kind of sucks, but yeah, he'll basically end up killing himself. That's what's going to happen in this battle because, um, yeah, you know, at some point he's just going to, yeah, <laughs> he's going to like Berserk Zell too many times and there's nothing I can really do about it. So in fact, there's Berserk right now. Let's wait. Oh, he's doing it right now. Well, luckily it was a uh, selfie's turn, so I can immediately, wow, that was honestly really lucky. Alright, uh, on to Zell, let's just draw. I guess I can cure Squall, but he's just blinded. What's funny though is Squall has a perfect 255%, uh, percent, so the blindness is actually he's not doing anything. Draw, okay, see, for that, now I will assume a Squall, because that is both um, blinded and like cursed or whatever that status is, so that's no bueno. So, yeah, from here we just uh, heal. I guess I can check on chat here as well. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're good. <laughs> Alright. Good having you here, though, tonight, sir. Appreciate you stopping by. And, uh, yeah. That's honestly a good idea for a, a video. Yeah, what are my thoughts on the Bing and Little Lord trade? What's funny is, like, I have the thought, same thoughts on the D, 
uh, dime time trade as I do on all trades, you know. Basically, it's just going to shake things up. And, like, honestly, you got to think about it. These guys are stars. These guys are famous. Like, I mean, Damian Lillard, he has a wife and family to think about. And a, and a future retirement. You know what I mean? So, if he wants to get more money, <laughs> right, which they were obviously offering him with this trade. You know, more money and, um, yeah, the opportunity to get out of Portland. That's the biggest thing is, like, he has to uproot his family and his uh, livelihood and, you know, just figure some things out, you know, which is just part of life. Um, but it's it's a big sacrifice to ask for your family to, you know, just be, you know, comfortable and going to school here. And, yeah, yeah, like, for example, I'm really lucky. Um, Berserk, hopefully it's not on Zill. It's on Squall. Okay, that's fine. But, um, yeah, I'm really lucky. Uh, <laughs> I was fortunate enough to have, like, a stable home and to basically, um, yeah, be able to attend the same elementary school from start to finish, which that's pretty rare nowadays, you know what I mean? That's pretty lucky. Um, also attended the same junior high from start to finish. My dad was just, yeah, he, you know, he was great. He worked really hard. Um, we just, as a family, we got really lucky and familially, which is a weird word to say, but familially, um, yeah, um, we were just able to, he got a lot more stable financially than he had ever been, um, so that was a huge help, um, because at one point, I think the worst we were ever financially, you know, we moved, we had to move in with grandma, which, uh, you know, that's, hey, all families go through periods of time like that, you know, where it's like, oh yeah, you got to move in back in with mom, um, uh, person, uh, you know, uncle, etc. Someone who is, you know, a little more financially, you know, so, uh, you know, no shame in our game though. I mean, he was only there like, <laughs> you know, from when I was like maybe two to four. So like right before uh, I started elementary, so and yeah, I guess just you know some things broke through, and, and uh, he was able to endure the struggle. Which trust me, moving back in with your own mom, I, I don't care what how old you are, that's gonna be a struggle. So I can only imagine some of the things he went through, but um, yeah, yeah, was able to turn it around financially. Oh, we're good on Asuna, so I don't really mind what it happens the rest of this battle. The fact that we got the Asunas. I'm good, so, but we're already here. I guess we'll wait for Selfie to come out of and we will immediately draw a Suna on Zell. I guess we'll try to get zombies with everybody, and then I'll just show you guys how to take this guy out. Uh, obviously, if you have a Phoenix down, you can just drop it on this guy and not worry about drawing, but uh, I would say the doubles are worth it. If you don't draw nothing else in this battle, yeah, draw 100 doubles for each character. Because uh, everyone should be Magic Junction now. And it should go a lot faster than um, than um, it did for the El Vorit battle. So, you know what I mean? Yeah, just get 100 doubles on everybody. Drop a Phoenix down. Call it good. That's my advice. So, uh, But yeah, yeah, yeah. Being uh, in the public face, in the public eye, like uh, Lillard or really any player is... Uh, that itself is a big sacrifice. It's a lot more sacrificial than people think. Uh, a lot of people just think, oh yeah, this is great. It's all fun and games and, you know, you just make money and just kind of key, key, key. And no, dude, like, I can't even imagine the things they worry about and the things they have to protect their children from, you know. Um, and as well, a lot of the time, the time and time and time and effort that he spends to stay in shape and to stay, you know, with his teammates and this and that. I mean, hey, that's time that he's not spending with his family. So, yeah, it's a lot bigger sacrifice that, you know, I don't take it for granted. But a lot of people don't even think about the sacrifice that, you know, NBA players or anybody really that's famous is putting through in their um, life journey. But uh, that's probably the biggest thing for dime time is the the difficulty um i don't really know personally personally now, some of my older sisters do they know like the pain of relocation the difficulty of relocation what relocation means 
And like, as an as an older adult, ooh, silence. Okay, so we can't actually draw or cast magic. Um, but as an older adult, I definitely understand a lot more now. Like, hey, if you're having to relocate, right? It's either by choice or not by choice. Right. And this is something I could just talk about because it applies to everybody. Yeah, if you ever have to relocate, you know, your living situation, it's either by choice or not by choice. And that determines a lot. Yeah. Obviously, if it's by choice, basically you just hope best, best case scenario, you know, everything works out. You just yeah, yeah, dab a do and you move on. If it's not by choice... Uh, you know, <laughs> that could be pretty rough on you. Um, yeah, and there are all kind of moves not by choice. For example, uh, prison. Yeah, that's a move not by choice, and it's probably not very fun. I mean, I've never been to prison. I wouldn't know. But uh, yeah. Um, I mean, some, some just, a lot of them are just financially, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, things just happen. You are, you know, somebody like loses a job or some, maybe somebody gains a job. Yeah, yeah, you got like a promotion, like in another city over there in Maine instead of Wisconsin. And it's just like, oh, okay, we just need to, um, we need to move to Maine. You know, that's the main event, so to speak, so... Um, yeah, so, yeah, some, you know, relocations are good, you know, or, you know, some relocations are just like, okay, everything's going smooth, I'm just gonna, I don't know, I've been living where I've been living for, you know, a, a couple of seconds, I'm just gonna try living over here, and then some relocations are for convenience, of course, like, let's say your job and your son or daughter's school is way over there on that side of town. And you also work on that side of town. But, you know, you have to drive back and forth every day, like, a couple hours. <laughs> well, one thing you can do, of course, for your living situation, which is kind of common sense, is, yeah, you know, your son's school is over there. This is over there. You know, you, know, you start to notice, hey, everything's over there on that side of town. Why don't I just move to that side? But then again, that's not always easy. Because if you have a house, like a mortgage you're paying for, you know, yeah, seller's market, buyer's market, it's tough, yeah. Obviously, you want to, if you're like 75% of the way paying your house, well, you just might as well just you know, keep your house and, you know, yeah, just kind of deal with it. Um, so, yeah, that can be a, uh, a tough um, relocation situation, you know. <laughs> it's just like, well, I want to go over here, but, you know, we almost got this house paid off, so I might as well stay put. Yeah, and that's, uh, anyway, I don't even know how I got on this topic. I went from talking about dime time to, hey man, you know, but honestly, we really shouldn't take it for granted. The sacrifice that uh, public personas, well, really all public personas, teachers, preachers, um, you know, anybody famous, anybody like in the public, life, even like, you know, cops and stuff. Uh, to a degree, and firefighters, you know, like the sacrifice they make as far as, you know, not spending time with their family, pretty big sacrifice, honestly, so, and we should be uh, appreciative of that, um, and just kind of have a perspective on that, that like, okay, it's not all fun and roses, it's not all, you know, and don't get me wrong, the money's nice, I'm sure, to dame, to, di to dime time, I'm sure the money is nice. But, you know, money can't buy you everything. Money can't buy you time <laughs> that you're spending in the gym and you're missing your son and daughter. I don't even know, like, what members of his family he has. The one thing I do know is that, yeah, the public eye thing is pretty, uh, it's tough, man. It's t It really is. It's, uh, you know, you might say, well, how do you know, Flood? How do you know it's tough? Flood, you've never been in the public eye. Like, Okay, I, I'm I'm semi-famous here in "quote unquote" Wisconsin. So. Trust me, guys. Trust me. Uh, let's use some cure on selfie. He's almost dead, actually. So, and then let's cure. Uh, let's actually draw doubles. 
onto Squall. So, I mean, onto Zale. Because he has the cure. Up. So, Berserk on self. Well, we are done drawing, so. That's not so bad. Alright, and from here we can destroy this guy. Oh, by the way, this is Jero Jero, by the way. I didn't really say this guy's name uh, to avoid spoilers, but yeah, let's cast a double Jero on this guy, which will do a lot of damage. And let's Asuna as well. Right. And yeah, he takes 1470, and then. And he's dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, just cast Cura or Cure or. I don't know, just Junction Up is powerful. And this guy is a big joke, honestly. So, anyway, we get the zombie powder. And 20 AP, so some people should be learning some stuff. I for learned that. Ugh, man, I can't believe the president was a fake. Oh, yeah, dude. Faker! I can't believe we fell for it. Oh, really, Renoa? Info, sir. New info. It's big news. I found out the real reason the president's here, sir. What's up, Watts? What's going on? The president's going to the TV station. Security super tight, sir. Uh, TV station? Oh, yeah, that's, uh... Why in Timber? Yeah, that's, uh... Huh. Anyway. They can broadcast just as easy from Galvadia. Oh. Yeah. Do you think the Dalet communication tower has anything to do with this? Ah, uh, good point, Selfie. Yeah, yeah, good point. At the start of the game, Squall's like... Yeah, yeah. What's that? Well, uh, I guess we're going to have to tell them. Yeah, Dalit has a communication tower that can transmit and receive radio waves. It had been abandoned for a long time. The Gulf body and army got it up and running yesterday. Oh, I get it. The only TV station that can handle broadcasts over the air is in Timber. Other stations use HD cable, which only supports online broadcasting. Huh. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> so, what's that supposed to mean? They're planning on using radio waves. This way they can transmit images to regions without cable. Oh. Hmm. That's interesting. I know that. What I want to know is, what is the president going to broadcast? Oh, I mean, hey, who knows? Maybe he's going to declare, like, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Why use radio waves? There must be something they want to say to the whole world. Hmm. What can it be? Um, everybody, love and peace. Well, the, actually, the bigger problem is we tried to assassinate the president. This one was a fake. So the bigger problem here is they uh, know somebody attacked the fake president, right? Or they at least know that we... Yeah, we took over the fake car. And so that should only ramp up security, right? I mean, I'm no expert, but if you're a fake bottle, body double president, uh, you know, was taken hostage by a small rebel alliance group, wouldn't you like triple or quadruple security? I think that's the biggest problem is that our sneak attack, our, you know, plan was blown up not only blown up but like discovered and yeah i'm no expert on president delling or galbadia but common sense dictates yeah they're gonna have like five times the security 10 times 20 times the security in galbadia so yeah that sucks if i remember correctly radio waves haven't been used in 17 years hmm, that's a long time it's been that long wait 17 years hmm all right. Wouldn't it be nice if we were older? Nah, nah. Oh, wouldn't it be wonderful if the first broadcast could be the Declaration of Timber's Independence? Hmm. That'd be pretty cool. Hey! That might be possible. Um, I don't know, Zone. That's a little optimistic. Let's come up with a plan, then. Um... Can you guys give us a minute? Sure. What the heck are they doing? Oh, I guess we're free to go. Um, what's up, Zell? Yeah, they call it that strategy meeting? Nah, what in the world? Yeah, tell me about it, Zell. Zell's pissed. <laughs> um, 
Can we go home now? What about our contract? Shouldn't we check it, Squall? Oh, right, yeah. I guess, um, doesn't matter if the plan worked or not. We did our job. Um, so, I guess we're free to go, yeah. <laughs> Alright, good point, Selfie. I guess let's, uh, just leave. Um, oh, we can't leave. Uh, let's talk to this guy. Talk to Zone. Let me guess your stomach. Oh, I guess we talked to Renault. Uh, hi. Oh, good timing. We've come up with a plan. Palm face. Before we get into that, can I... Oh, that's Squall. Before we get into that, can't I see your contract with our garden? Hmm. Oh, sure. Hmm. All right. <laughs> Squall gets on one knee, like this is a football huddle or something. Snatch. Yeah, what's to say, buddy? What's to say, Yook? Well, Balam Garden, herefore referred to as Party A, acknowledges the forest elves as the hiring party. Seed, herefore referred to as Party C, shall dispatch upon signing of this contract. Party C shall operate under the super vi What in the hell? Yeah, the Zale? Yeah, the hell? I don't get it. Oh yeah, that one's pretty confusing. <laughs> when I told him that I didn't understand, he uh, gave me a different one. Natch. Ah, Sid is such a nice man. What's it say this time? Well, this time we get a somewhat animated cutscene. I guess I'll read this in his voice. The forest house, this sheet deployment contract would last until Timber achieves independence. Please make good use of each siege member. I wish you the best of luck with your objective. Please understand that this contract is an exception, and no replacement of any siege members can be made. While I'm guarding headmaster Sid Kramer. I like how in the background he's just kind of running, walking around his office and stuff. Well, that's heavily implied anyway. Yeah, until Timber's independence. Yeah, what's independence mean? That is so vague. You're so vain. You probably think the song is about you. Hey, you're paid professionals. No complaining. Oh, okay, Renoa. All right, let's decide on the parties. Well, I'm guessing Zone's going to have stomach cramps or whatever. Um, And you got the info. Gathering information might be sir. sir. Uh, no problem, Watts. I like Watts, actually. Out of these three, Watts is definitely my favorite character. Ouch, my stomach! Okay, the so zone's just, uh, I guess nervous is all hell or something. So, of the four of us, the ones who will be heading to the TV station in all blue will be... Yeah, so I guess we'll just keep Renault. Uh, yeah, she's basically making us take her, so... I guess we'll just take, uh, who's lowest level? They're both the same level. Selfie's already junction. Well, they both are, but... Let's just take Selfie, yeah. Okay, and we'll switch them like this. Uh, can we leave Renoa? No, we cannot. We have to take her. All right, well, let's just do a quick junction exchange with Zell and Renoa. That way, um, yeah, Renoa has all the magic and whatnot. And I guess we'll heal everybody later. All right, sorry, Zell. Gotta leave you here, buddy. Um, what do you, what do you say? Yeah, <laughs> call on me anytime, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be here for you. you. All right, see you, Zell. I mean, Joey Willard. I mean, whoever you are. Ouch, my stomach. Anyway, big big note of order. Uh, you might want to get out here and save, yeah. So, first thing, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to head here to the save point, and then I'm going to talk to everybody and see what they have to say about the blown operation, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of a big deal, the fact that uh, there was a body double. So, yeah, let's see what everybody has to say. Maybe there's new dialogue, I don't know. One thing you do want to do, though, is, yeah, remember how they were explaining Renoa? So let's go to status on Renoa, and let's go to Angelo's. Yeah, oh, okay, I did change it to recover. That's good. And let's uh, heal everybody with Squall's um, cure. So uh, let's just go full heal here. Um, yeah, and then selfie, full heal, Renoa. Okay, there you go. We'll leave it a little low. Okay. All right, so yeah, let's go around and talk to everybody, see what's going on in in the train now that uh, everything's done. Hey, Angelo. Hey, buddy. Aw. 
Good doggo. Uh, is there any new items here? I'm just kind of fucking A. Huzzabugada, maybe? Alright, let's uh, do some ch chat check in here. Okay, we're good. Chat check is good. Uh, let's see. Let's go in here. <laughs> uh, did you see the clipping on the board in the conference room? Anarchist Monthly used to write special reports about the president. Oh. I see. I saw the guy who wrote for that magazine being taken all oh, to the prison. Being in prison for telling the truth? That's downright wrong. Huh. It's not just the men who were sent to the prison. Oh, this guy's still talking. Telling sins women, children, the elderly, anyone who stands against them. Dang, this guy really is a dictator. Well, was once a thriving resistance movement died down because of this. Uh, oh, okay, and he's back to looping, so... Yeah. What's up? The four styles are... I guess hear him out, yeah. Watson Zone's fathers founded the Forest Owls. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Forest Owls used to, 18 years ago, on the day before that big invasion, there was an all-out hunt for resistance members. Oh, wow. Watson Zone's fathers both died to protect everyone in the city. Well, holy crap, I did not know this. Y'all, body and soldiers shot them down in front of everybody as a warrant. Oh. Wow, they were basically executed. To send a message. Yeah, wow. Everybody looked away. Hmm. But Watson and Zone were watching. Oh, they were just kids at the time. Yeah, I can imagine. They saw the whole thing. Delling glared down at the two of them like they were dirty rats. Wow. <sighs> well, if you don't hate this guy enough, there you go. He had just become president, so to show his power, he took a soldier's gun and shot their father's already dead bodies. What an asshole, man. From that day on, they decided to carry on with their father's work as the Forest Owls. Makes a lot of sense, honestly. I decided to become a member after... Yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> if I would have heard that story, I would have became a member. Jeez, dude. Uh, we Forest Owls, we may look like a bunch of jokers to you guys. Um, Yeah, so he's talking about what was going on in the meeting room, I guess. But we all have our stories, so try to understand, eh? Hmm. When it comes down to it, we get the job done. Hey, fair enough, bro. Much respect. Still, we've got a long way to go to live up to the, our two founding fathers. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Wow. That's crazy. Um, okay. You probably just see this as another job. Where I wonder where the name Force Owls come from. Oh. Uh, what if we keep saying not interested? Uh, oh, okay. Okay, okay. All right, never mind. All right. Talk to this guy. Hey, don't you want to know how Renoa and Cypher... Yeah, I kind of do, bro. Um, is it, uh... Is it serious? I just joined the... Oh, uh, this guy doesn't know anything. <laughs> no one would tell me. Why is that? The mystery's killing me. Oh. <laughs> okay. Anyway, that was a pretty long cutscene, so let's make another save here. Uh, yeah, so... There you go. A little background there on Zone and, um, Watts. So... Wow. It's crazy. I've played this game a lot, but I never knew that story. Or I, like, I did know at one point and just forgot about it. Up? TV station, sir. It's quite close, sir, if you take the local train. But the local and transcontinental trains have stopped running, sir. Nothing to worry about, sir. There must be someone in town who knows. Okay, Watts. Are you ready, sir? Not yet, not yet. Let's go talk to everybody else who's on the train. Um, Let's see. Watts, still uh, stomach problems? And they'll just... Oh, I guess... And this is the Anarchist Monthly. I'm pretty sure I've already read from here, but... Uh, right, right, right. Reveals the Darkest Secrets. Anyway. Uh, let's see if we can go to this room that we battled um, Jero Jero in, that boss. Nope. Okay. Well, in the meantime, let's just look what all the GFs are learning here. That's pretty key. Um, encounter half. That's really good. Um, uh, let's see. Siren, you're relatively new. Uh, I guess that's good, yeah. Magic plus 20. Um, uh, oh, that's your last one, Ifrit. Okay. Um, almost got the element defense times two. That's pretty clutch. And, okay. And Quetz Code is almost done. So, alrighty. Well, I guess, uh, yeah, I guess let's leave. Um, don't need to change anything. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, well, I'm ready. Best of luck, sir. I'll keep watching here. Okay, see you, Watts. Thanks for your help, man. And, uh, yeah, much respect to your uh, father, dude. Um, yeah. A guy dressed as a cadet. Gathering information. Hmm. 
he was asking about the president's stay. I found it strange that a cadet would keep asking about the president. Oh, so somebody's on to uh, our intelligence operatives. He was very polite and kept addressing me as sir. Oh, they're talking about uh, Watts. That's funny. Okay, because he does say sir a lot. I think I know who you're talking about. He was taking care of three suspicious looking characters from Balaam. Oh, so they got eyes on us. I'll go question every teenager in the area. No, we can't just go up to anybody. And I love how they leave his text box up right here in the scene. <clears throat> These are citizens. We can't inflict any. How dare they kidnap our president, sir? Not only is it disrespectful to the president, but also to us Galbadian soldiers as well. I'll be sure to find them and throw their sad behind in jail. And like, yeah, I love how it just leaves his text box. Like, he was in the middle of trying to uh, defuse the situation. <clears throat> These are citizens. We can't inflict any... <sighs> Please, hear me out to the very end. <laughs> yeah, he was trying to stop him, so... Pretty funny. Alright, and we uh, arrived in um, Timber for real now, so, yeah, alright, so what now, and there's Watts, say, hey, I remember now, sir, alright, so there's Watts, I think the TV station is located behind a building called Timber Maniacs, okay, please head in that direction, sir, I hope you find it, What? come on, go on, these soldiers are coming, Lots of guards patrolling the city now. Please be careful, sir. Uh, the train's leaving, bro. Seems like the hotel's not available either. Should you need to recover, use the Owl's Tear, sir. I heard it works wonders. I believe you can find it at the old man's house. Guess you won't be needing it anyway. You're all seeds. You'll be right. You'll be fine, right, sir? Hey! Yeah, the train kind of took off, bro. Don't leave me, sir! Aw, oh, and there goes Watts. I love Watts. <laughs> so polite. So funny. Uh, anyway, one thing you should note is, uh, yeah, if you try to head back to Balam, the trains bound for Balam are not running at the time. Obviously, they're going to cut off travel because they, they know that uh, people from Balam are associated with, you know, whatever. Also, at this time, there will be random battles with Galbadian soldiers. Um, if it's only, like, one guy, I'll fight it. Otherwise, we're just going to kind of run away. But, um, uh, yeah, okay. All right, face my pinwheel of death. That's Renoa's weapon of choice. And she took Zell's junction, so he's currently the most powerful member on the team. So, there you go, first battle with Renoa. Alright, and no items, 1 AP. So, yeah, we only need like 5 AP for some of our characters. So, oh, I guess like, we can't do, actually do anything over here. But you can trigger battles over there to the right, so... Yeah, if you want to farm for AP, I guess this is the place. Now, I'm not going to fight too many battles here, but... Now, these guys give 2 AP a pop. So I I will fight these guys, you know, so let's fight these elites. Nice. And that guy's now. And squall attack. Or no attack. Pull the trigger. And he should still be alive, but take my pinwheel of justice. And he's down. And with that we have learned um the uh, defense for uh yeah, Cybernator there, so we'll take that. Alright, and from here I'll probably just run some battles. Yeah, element defense times two. <laughs> Zork will level up. Uh, how much does Zork need actually for encounter half? That would actually help quite a bit here. Five. Okay, we'll continue to fight the battles. Um, and then let's go to obviously to Siren. Um, or whoever learned that ability. Um, Shiva. Um, that's fine. Uh, Quetzalcoatl. That's fine. Uh, Ifrit, that's fine. Siren. Okay. So it's on magic plus 40. And, okay. So I think it was, um, uh, Shiva who learned element defense times 2. So, anyway, let's junction, uh, who has Shiva? I don't even know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is available now. So let's put, uh, I guess life on here would be good. Or, like, full life or something? Uh, yeah, there we go. Nice, so there you go. And then I can go to Squall. And I guess I should should probably check his junctions too. Uh yeah, that's nice full life. Um okay. 
And I guess I'll check, um, right, now that we have the Asunas with everybody, whoops, uh, let's check Renoa's, because I can go over here, definitely put Asuna here, okay, yeah, and then we can put Death here, which is nice, um, yeah, and then now that we're done with the boss battle, let's put, uh, I guess just attack with, uh, yeah, let's use, um, <laughs> Quake attack here. And let's also check quick. Oh wow, so that's 99 there. And how much would Flare get me to um, on magic? Ooh, not quite as good as Tornado, so. And Tornado would get me to what? 112? Okay. And HP, yeah, let's check this. Um, at 3253, HP will now be at. Uh, I guess Quake and Regen are equal, so it's kind of funny. Um, for HP, anyway. Draga's not bad. Uh, oh, okay, so Tornadoes can take it higher. Uh, you know what? Mm, yeah, let's put the Tornadoes on. And then on the basic magic, let's just put, like, um, something that ain't too bad. Like uh, the Quakes. Yeah, it's a 55. And then over here, we can put, uh, nothing, honestly. Yeah, let's just put the Nara, or the Naga. That works, that works. Alright, and then we go to... Thunder Magic Refine, and we do it on a... Wizard stuff. No, let's do it on a Dynamo stone. And put that on... No, so. There we go. And uh, there we go, right now. There you go. Alright. Very good. Okay, so everybody's all caught up on the junction. Let's see, let's just keep going. Yeah, let's keep going here. <laughs> Alrighty, down we go. Talk to this person. Welcome, how's Timber been treating you? Not bad. I've been running a souvenir shop a long time, but there's nothing to sell these days. Take a look in time when you have time. We'll still have some stuff in there. Oh, right here. Um, yeah, oh, okay, Timber. Yeah, so there, I remember we read some of these model trains. are out of stock. Watson Zone bought the last one. The owner of the hotel used to make some great models. I guess we'll talk to him. Disappeared after the war. Oh. Now that he's gone. Oh, wow. Um, map of Timber. Let's see Alistair. Al Alistair. Old man living on the edge of town. And that's what he said to heal stuff. This is a map of Timber. And I'll show it to you. Want to see the map? <laughs> yeah, there you go. So, I guess you can kind of use this if you can't find the TV station. But it's actually relatively easy to find. Easy to understand, huh? Alright. Anyway, this is the dog. What's up? Look at him. He's just so cute. My parents got me Georgie at this pet shop. Yeah. All right. And let's see how many magazines we have here. This sort, um, specifically the ones that, uh, yeah, Pet Pals Volume 1 and 2. So let's go to this pet shop. Oh, wow, we have a battle here before we can enter the pet shop. All right. And I do only need five for encounter half, and I think I'll honestly take it at this point. Five AP from these, like, random encounters. So you can just run away from these, by the way, if you want to. I mean, yeah, if you don't want the extra EXP, I just, I just want the AP at this point, honestly. Um, so. Okay. Um, that... Okay, so here's the pet shop. Uh, I guess I will we'll buy... You can buy some of these scrolls if you want. Yeah, GF learns GF ability. Don't know why you'd need these, but there you go. Now, Amnesia Greens is actually kind of important. But I will pick up like... Eh, like six of these. I'll pick up like five. Uh, yeah, and let's buy Pet Pals Volume 3 and Volume 4, which will teach Angelou new stuff. And we won't be coming back here for a while, so... Let's actually buy like... 
can't believe I'm saying this, but yeah, let's buy like seven of these. Yeah. Alright. And that's very helpful, actually. Oh uh, yeah, but with the more important thing, yeah, be sure to read these right away. Uh, the, your pet pals. So, there you go, there's that. Uh, your wish your prick can rescue. Angela recover, okay. So, and this one will teach. Uh, research shows a relationship between the moon and your dog. Do you know how your dog can use the power of the moon to help you? It's Invincible Moon. Uh, yeah, pretty interesting. So, there you go. Um, have you ever been KO'd by a monster? Even reviving doesn't help because you get KO'd right back. To answer, use Angela Reverse. Your dog finds Phoenix down. The KO? Yeah, not your, your down parties in battle. So, yeah, let's actually go to status on Renoa. And that quote-unquote Invincible Moon sounds pretty good. But, uh, yeah, well, we'll see. Yeah, so... Let's learn that. And from here, let's, uh, oh, I didn't mean to go back in. Let's just go over here. Oh, well, or I guess we go down or whatever. There we go. Okay, so two ways to go here. Um, to the right, or, I mean, down or to the right. Let's just talk to this guy. Oh. <laughs> I ain't no zone, but I'm mighty flattered that you think so. Zone wannabe. You know, uh, I figured it. I figured it. If I dressed up, dressed up like my man Zoni, I'd be able to meet him. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure he's glad I left the countryside. Yeehaw! Okay. Uh, first time I came back to this here city, I was lost as a sheep. Many thanks to the mighty kind lady at the gift store, showed me a map of timber. Now I'm all set. So this guy's basically just to help you out if you uh, can't find the TV station. So. Let's head this way. Um, yeah. Uh, there's Tim Romaniacs right there. So, uh, yeah, let's just head on in here. So that's where they told us to go. Oh, random battle before we make it all the way in. All right. Two soldiers. Let's uh, get rid of these guys. We'll be in, we'll be equipping the encounter half soon. So, No challenge at all with how good we're judging up. <laughs> oh, and there went the death animation there. Uh, that was the death kicking in. On status attack, so. Normal ammo? Oh, it's actually pretty interesting. Alright. And let's just head straight in here. Um, hi. Hello, what can I do you for, honey? We just want to take a look around. Yeah. Oh, okay, go on right ahead. Oh. Thanks. You boys like you are always welcome. Feel free to look around. Anyway, if you click out at least some of these magazines, uh, Battle City, yeah. Uh, I don't remember which one, but um, one of these has a very special um, uh, magazine in it. So, uh, let's see here. Um, is it this one? Um, maybe it's this one. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, received Girl Next Door, yeah, so, somehow on this stack we found that book, so, uh, yeah, pretty interesting. And remember, um, one of the characters was said to be looking for that. Yeah, you can go to the side room, that, which doesn't actually appear to hold anything, but if you mash A, yeah, you'll find a Tropoli for Blazaga, so, what we want to do is obviously transfer, uh, let's just split, like, some of Tr Selfie's Blazagas. Let's split with, um, yeah, with Zell. Let's split like 20. And then let's use the draw point. And, uh, on selfie. So, there you go. And she gained four. So, yeah, I can transform right back. But, uh, yeah, pretty cool draw point there. Uh, that not many people know about. Um, there you go. Alright, so. Anyway. Go in here. The, a lot of dialogue here in Timber. What? Did you say I look like an artist? <laughs> As a matter of fact, I am. I didn't say anything. Have you seen my work yet? It's a collection of photographs titled Jacket Over Skin, The Beautiful Women Edition. Major sellout, we don't have any in stock. I was that with the girl next door's about. Lots happening in Timber, but our art is definitely the way to go. Take your word for it, buddy. Hey, I heard that card games are getting popular. Ah, like Yu-Gi-Oh, yeah. 
Maybe collections of photographs on cards might be. Maybe, bro. I don't know. What's your market? So, anyway. Um, let's uh, get this Timber Maniacs right here. Not surprised to find one of these in this uh, setting. Uh, what's this? A lot of old magazines. Oh, okay. Um, what's in this pile? Okay. Right. Now let's just talk to this guy. Oh man, why do battle suitors that look sell so well? <sighs> sure they are living in a terrible age. <sighs> oh, you're just looking around. Is there anything you want to know about? Um, about the dream with Laguna? Sure. Recently, I had a strange dream that I became a called body and soldier named Laguna. Oh yeah, right. Actually, it was too realistic to be just a dream. My friends had a similar experience, too. Yeah, dreams are really strange. This morning, I dreamt that. Why, why did I bring this up? Now he won't shut up about his dreams. This morning's dream, yesterday's dream, childhood's dreams. This dialogue's so funny. Big mistake. <laughs> hey guys! Word of advice, you're still young, don't let your life pass you by. So obviously the editor loves to hear himself talk. <laughs> and it reminds me of someone, huh? Okay. Anyway, let's go talk to him again, because we didn't ask him about everything. Uh, right. Let's ask him about... Uh, nothing in particular. Nothing. Thanks. That's too bad. I like talking to young people. Yeah, no, no joke, bro. We can tell. Uh, let's talk about Timber's situation. I don't care what's happening in Timber today. You know, in my childhood, it wasn't like this. Back then, we were in the middle of a war against the sorceress. Wait, what? But I kept writing letters to Timber Maniacs, stressing how meaningless the war was. I was really happy, even though there was a war going on. It gave me hope about my future. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay. Pretty cool. This is getting so boring. It was different back then. There were the good old times. It was great to be young. Look at all the young people these days. They're all so lazy. I don't know what they're thinking. <laughs> Look at Squall's reaction here. Just another stupid story by a boring adult. <laughs> That's so funny. That is such a vibe. That is such a vibe for a teenager. This guy needs to grow up. Dang. That's coming from Squall. That's how you know he's in bad shape. Wow. Hey, guys. Yeah. That's such funny dialogue, though. Yeah, because, you know, most teenagers don't really care, you know, what you're trying to say to them. Uh, what do you say about the first one? About Timber Maniacs, yeah. Oh, well, as you know, the name of, name of the company is Tamper Maniacs. We're a publisher that was established 20 years ago. Oh, cool. We used to publish a magazine called Tim Money. Short for Timber. Oh, that sounds a lot better. Tim Money. Sounds like Toonami a little bit. It was a compilation of freelance writing, letters, reports. The majority of the fans wanted to become journalists. Nice. I joined the company because I wanted to become an editor for Tim Money. The Tim Money. Nice. Times sure have changed. Now the only thing that sell are books like the Battle Series. It's so sad. I've lost my will to work here. Even look at Renoa. He's gonna go on forever. Even look at Selfie, you know. Pretty funny scene though. It's so typical. Adults reminiscing and talking on and on about the things they couldn't do or didn't do. Wow, let's go. I hate it. <laughs> that is so relatable, bro. <laughs> uh, hey, guys. Yeah. Word of advice, you're still young and all that's your life fashion. <laughs> anyway, pretty funny scenes all around. Let's talk to this lovely lady. Come again. Is she like flirting with Squall? I think she is, yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> pretty funny, though. Let's go talk to this person. Hi. Watts got left behind again. Oh, oh, you saw that, huh? Yeah, he looked so funny when he chased after the train. <laughs> I guess this happens on a regular occurrence. You think I'm stalking you? No, I'm just a devoted fan. I'm head of the fan club. 
<laughs> okay. Hmm. Anyway, let's talk to this person. Looking for Timber Maniacs? It's right here. Uh, where's the TV station? Yeah, that's in this town. You want to know more about it? Maybe the lady next door would know. Hmm. All right. Uh, okay. Well, it's a pretty important place for an aspiring entertainer or journalist such as myself. Oh, okay. Nice. Yep, so that's it for Timber Maniacs. Um, let's see if we can just get to a safe point here. Honestly, I think I'll just end stream here in the fix. And obviously, I want to save after all this dialogue that's been going on. Uh, and mainly, I'm paranoid of like glitches and stuff. So, let's skip the house. Let's head over here. Uh, yeah, let's go here. You guys, watch yourselves. Some sheets, seedy looking guys. We're heading toward the pub. Uh oh. The pub is downstairs. I think it's. Wait, what? What in the world? Uh, we'll take care of that. Um. Uh, she was like, I think it's going blood. What's up? Uh, uh oh. Talk to this guy. Are we on a date? You ask? It doesn't look like we are. I know. We're on a patrol to keep peace in the town. <laughs> uh, whatever you say. What's up? Uh, forest, I guess? Guy. I think your laser beams are everywhere outside the TV station. Hmm. I lose sleep when I think about what those beams could do to me. Wait, well. Um, secret. You should go to Afora Pub for a drink. I guess Afora means Aurora. Don't drink till you see. Drink until you see an Aurora. That's weird. Uh, forest. Uh, timber was named for its rich vegetation. It used to be that we were surrounded by this beautiful forest. Anyway, let's uh, walk past here. I know they told us to go downstairs to the pub, but uh, actually, there's actually something pretty important over here that I want to show you guys before we end. All right, plus we got a couple more soldiers to KO right here. So let's uh, get rid of these guys. Yeah. And we'll use Renoa's little wheel. All right, and there goes that guy. And we win. Yeah. All right. And two potions, and more importantly, the two AP. And we learn encounter half. Yeah, that's actually really important. And now with um, <laughs> Zork Baka, um, we can learn status magic refined for only three. And more importantly, encounter half unlocks encounter none, as you saw there. And that ability is actually really important. Uh, yeah, no encounters. Yeah, yeah. So, but one thing we can do is go to Renoma. Good ability, uh, or whoever has three abilities. Oh yeah, I should probably switch this back. Strength bonus and move fine, by the way. Okay. And then Squall, let's check his abilities. Uh, I should switch him to have a card. Okay. And just in case. And then Selfie, I should switch to learn. Yeah, encounter half, because that should make this not so bad. So, there we go. Alright, encounter half is equipped. Do Selfie, so. Nice. All right, looking good, looking good. All right, so now we should not have as many random battles. Let's go talk to these kids. I wish a train would come. The bridge splits when the train comes apart. Gotta make it across just as it splits. I'm gonna cross on three, okay? Even though my heart jumps and my legs begin to shake. I'm number one, it makes me so mad. Oh, okay. I guess they like to play a little game they are right by like a train station I guess anyway let's say right here been doing a lot of dialogue and stuff so there we go. All right. and let's go down here I guess oh there's someone on the other side there the train bound for Dalit hoping at East Academy is not in service I guess we are not allowed to leave. That's interesting. Not yet. Not until everything has been resolved. Uh, okay. Wish a train would come. Yeah. So this is the kids basically saying, hey, the trains aren't running. Oh. There are four different trains running their sign. It gets kind of packed at times. Uh, yes, please tell me. One thing from there is for Dalit. Oh, I see. You can catch the one for the desert in front of the pub. When near the pet shop, goes to Balam. 
and the one in front of Timber Maniacs goes to Delling City. I see. Uh, there are four trains out of Timber. You gotta walk around town to change trains, though. Nice. Just don't... Wait, what? Just don't scare me from behind. Wait, what? Once I almost got hit by a train when someone tried to surprise... Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, that's actually a dumb place to surprise someone on a subway platform. But a very handsome young man quickly grabbed my hand and said, Oh, nice. <laughs> if I remember correctly, his name was Lawyer. Oh, as in Laguna Lawyer? Wow. So she had her life saved by Laguna. I never knew that. Wow. <sighs> tell you the truth, he was my ideal man, but he was wearing a cult body in uniform. This person has met Laguna. Okay, so that tells us some very interesting information. The person from the dream segment is apparently not only on this planet, you know, somewhere. Well, at least they were at one time. At the time, he saved her. Yeah, so, yeah, that makes the dream segment a little weird because uh, this person's talking about a real person who, who was a uh, lawyer. And, yeah, so, and if she seems to be describing Laguna, well, where is this guy? I wonder if we'll ever find him in this game. Yeah, probably not. He's probably, like, dead or something. But we'll, like, find out his backstory. That's usually the way these go. Uh, to me, Galvarians are my sworn enemies. They killed my father. <sighs> kind of sounds like Romeo and Juliet, huh? Mm. Wow, well, see, uh, she's really grateful that Laguna saved her life. Or, uh, Mr. Lawyer, whoever it was. Uh, okay, so, well, anyway, that was a, a very helpful piece of backstory. Thank you, ma'am. Wow, I did not know uh, Laguna saved her life. So, anyway, let's head in here. Pretty interesting. Um, pretty interesting. Uh, so what's going on here? Oh, small little house. What's up? Uh, this house is too much for a small fall for a family of five. Oh, wow, yeah. Mom's working at the pub. Grandma's at the gift shop. They don't seem to mind. And Grandpa's so stubborn, he refuses to move to a bigger house. Mm, sounds about right. <laughs> uh, I want a big, huge room to myself. One of these days, I'm going to get my own place. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dream big. Just start saving your money, I guess. People mistake this place for the station office. It's really annoying. Okay. So there she goes. Um, hi. Young lad, do you like beverages? Uh, yeah, kind of. Ah, good to hear. Drink all you want from the faucet. Ahem. You don't have to hold back. It's just water. Find whatever you say, old man. All right, Squall's gonna grab a drink. I feel revitalized. Wait, what? How? How is it good? Uh, yeah, dude. What's up with that? Back in the old days, we used to call it Owl's Tear. Oh, and sell it to travelers from afar. Heh. <laughs> I'm not pressing you for money. Don't worry, young lad. Ah, you can't beat it. Huh. So this is what the Alster is. It's just like the faucet, which is kind of uh, interesting. But, uh, yeah. Huh. Uh, okay, she's still... Anyway. Uh, uh, let's leave it alone. Interesting that you can check that. Life is so strange. It's not like anyone teaches you. But you may... But you end up falling in love. Uh... Hurting each other. When you're feeling blue and you hear a touching song, doesn't it make you want to cry? Mm, yeah, that's true. I guess she's going through a breakup or something. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Horses. You got dumped again. That's her 15th time this year. Wow. That's some rotten luck, man. Why do people end up hurting each other? Uh, yeah. Wow. Alright, well, I guess we'll talk to everybody now that we got... It's natural spring water. It only works the first few times you drink it. Oh, the owls here, right. I've been drinking it all my life. No effect for me anymore, but oh, it's so good. Uh, interesting. So, 
Ah, you can't beat it. So it's just natural spring water. That's what the Alice tier is, huh? Uh, it's really annoying. All right. Anyway, this is where to get uh, fully healed. That you can't really um, access a heal point reliably at this point. Yeah, so anyway, we're just going to save here. Oh uh, yeah, next stream, guys. We're going to uh, yeah, continue to make our way to behind the TV station and make up a plan and then go from there. As far as, first of all, finding where the real president is. Second of all, just trying to escape from here. And third of all, basically we're going to try to cover our tracks because I assume that somebody would be onto us at this point. Um, yeah, and it looks like the Galbadi and soldiers are all around town. So hopefully we can uh, get them to settle down and then uh, not chase after us. But uh, anyway, all right, that's coming up uh, next time. But uh, yeah, thanks for joining me. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye-bye. Okay.